I'm Meredith Hudson, I'm from the Cerebral Palsy Alliance and we're having our information session tonight for prospective mentors. It's a great time for me to meet mentors that might be involved in the program and to explain to them how the program works, that they'll be matched one-on-one -on -one with one of the young adults who've agreed to be part of the program, but we'll operate as a group together um, and have talks, have um, visits from guest speakers, we'll go off-site to look at leadership in action and do a whole lot of fun things together during the year. We did a, a couple of hour session on values, meaning and purpose and helping people find out what's most important to them. So we did a, a four page questionnaire, which is 13 questions, which really digs a little bit deep into why people get up in the morning and why people do what they do to help them find their, their mission, their path, uh, their vision. And, uh, and the 13 questions are designed to uncover that. I've, I've hopefully inspired some of the people here today, but I've been inspired by some of the people I've met today. So we ran through a full laughter wellness session that involved laughter exercises, breathing exercises, clapping exercises and playfulness. We did some greeting laughter exercises and we did some laughter club classics like the milkshake laughter exercise. It was really good to see people get um, become more comfortable with the laughter process and it was great to see some people um, really achieve some good belly laughter during the laughter meditation. So laughter is great for reducing stress and anxiety because it lowers cortisol or stress hormone levels in the body and it activates the body's relaxation response. Um, it releases endorphins, which are the body's natural painkillers, and um, feel-good hormones, and it boosts feelings of positivity and optimism.
Hello, I'm Michelle Campbell, the Senior Manager of Student Equity and Support from the University of Newcastle. And tonight we're running a session on my story of practice to enable young people to think about the information that is about them and how they disclose appropriately to others. So we're using a series of cards um, and cards that resonate with the young people to describe their family, their life, their present circumstance and project into what they want for the future. Even though I have a disability, I get I get to go out and do the things that I want to do and experience new things every day. So you are strong. You have strength. Yeah. You have yeah. your own strengths. That's right. I have my own strengths. So yeah. 